universe consists of about a sextillion stars. There are many fascinating and unusual stars that pique scientists' interest due to their extraordinary qualities. Astronomers will never run out of chances to see some strange star system in this endless universe. My Camelopardalis is a peculiar star in the universe. We'll explain the facts about My Camelopardalis in this video as well as the mind-boggling occurrences that this star has to offer. I'm enthralled by the universe's awe-inspiring sights and happenings, and I'm thrilled to share the features of one of the strangest stars of the universe. So, ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Today, we embark on a journey into outer space. In this video, we will be introducing you to the Camelopardalis constellation in space. My Camelopardalis, a peculiar star among this group of stars, exists. This star's name comes from the fact that it is located in the constellation that symbolizes a giraffe. It is visible all year round from mid-northern latitudes of the Earth and can be seen with a telescope. Many scientists had previously thought of MyCam as a single star. Scientists now believe MyCam is a binary star system. Following further examination, these two stars are circling one another, and one is fast eclipsing the other, causing the luminosity to change. This binary star system has been misclassified for years as a single variable brightness star. Astronomers have enough information about the two stars today. They believe that these two buddies are circling each other so closely that their atmospheres are virtually touching. This binary system, according to some estimations, is about to merge. A massive explosion and the release of massive amounts of energy will accompany this merging process. Will the merger of the two stars result in the birth of a new enormous star? Or will there simply be a massive explosion with merely a discharge of energy and no production of new matter? Keep an eye on the video to see what happens, because we're about to reveal one of the oddest binary star systems. This binary system has been present on an astronomy map for decades and was mistaken for a single star. When a Spanish astronomy team revealed the eclipsing binary star system, it piqued scientists and astrophysicists' interest. The MyCam constellation was discovered using a 2.2-meter telescope. The binary system's two stars are both massive. The color of My Camelopardalis is blue-white, as determined by the star's spectral type. My Camelopardalis is 24,468.37 light-years away from Earth. The distance between it and the Earth is 143 quadrillion kilometers. My Camelopardalis is a binary star system in which two hot blue O-type stars orbit each other. One of the stars, A, has 37.7 sun masses, while its companion, B, has 31.6 sun masses. Each star has a radius of 7.6 times that of the sun and about 750 times that of our planet. Star A rotates at 290 kilometers per second, while star B rotates at 268 kilometers per second. 1.175 days is the orbital period. It takes them 28.2 hours to circle around their shared axis. As a result, they complete a full rotation around each other throughout the course of a day. To give you an idea, it takes our sun 26 days to complete one full rotation. Each of them has a surface temperature of 40,000 Kelvin. This star is one of the brightest in the cosmos. It's also on the list of the universe's brightest stars. These stars are bright enough to be seen using a regular telescope. According to scientists, MyCam is thought to be one of the most gigantic binary systems ever discovered. These two bodies, according to astronomers, continually rotate around each other and are alternately eclipsed by each other every day. The luminance is constantly changing due to the overshadowing. Scientists were unsure about the real property of this binary system that affects brightness before learning about its fluctuating luminosity due to eclipse characteristics. However, 
the most recent research has shown the underlying causes of star brightness variations. Scientists believe that eclipsing couples forming star systems are responsible for the majority of celestial bodies that vary in brightness over time. MICAM stellar system is one of the greatest of its kind. Globular star clusters are star-packed places in the universe. In the vicinity of such a region, star mergers are very prevalent. According to certain recent calculations, star collisions in globular star clusters happen once every 10,000 years. MICAM can be found in this zone, which is a smattering of stars. Unlike MICAM, our star, the Sun, is dependent on the planetary system to survive. However, a star with a planetary system is rare in the universe. According to estimates, only about 2% of the universe's stars are solitary stars. The majority of stars in the cosmos belong to numerous stellar systems. Triple stellar systems are the most frequent in the cosmos, accounting for 75% of all visible stars. Throughout their lives, these stars are subjected to the gravitational pull of their companions, resulting in the formation of a massive stellar system. Astronomers agree that large stars formerly formed stellar systems with at least one companion of similar mass. The fact that the stars are constantly eclipsed allows scientists to investigate the features of these celestial bodies in great detail. The primary sources of information on the masses and radii of stars are eclipsing binaries. Scientists may derive orbital parameters such as the deviation from its habitual marking. The radii of stars are also measurable from these processes. From these events, they can also compute the direction of stars in space and even the surface temperatures of the stars. The My Camelopardalis's two stars are circling quite close to each other and they may collide at some point. This collision could result in the birth of a single, enormous star or a huge explosion. Theoretical modeling implies that star mergers happen quickly, and as a result of this process, a tremendous amount of energy will be released. The creation of large dimensions is the next step in the process. According to astronomers, the stars will fuse soon after an explosion, resulting in a single, enormous star. No one had ever seen a stellar merger until September 2008, when scientists discovered a stellar merger in a constellation called Scorpius that no one realized was a result of a stellar merger at the time. As a result, Mike Ham had hoisted the astronomer's desire to process the knowledge of this binary star system's fusion. Mike Ham's destiny appears to be the convergence of these two stars. Some of you may be thinking, what if our sun suffered a similar fate? A collision with the sun, on the other hand, is extremely unlikely. According to a probability estimate, the rate of star collisions involving the sun is 1 in 10 to the power 28 years. This has an extremely small possibility of happening. Furthermore, such an event will most likely have no direct impact on our star because there are no stellar systems close enough to induce such a reaction. Astronomers are largely familiar with neutron star collisions at the moment. Gravitational waves cause two neutrons orbiting close together to march inward. When they collide, they generate either a more massive neutron star or a black hole. The fusion process can also produce a magnetic field. Fusion can also produce a magnetic field a trillion times more powerful than the Earth's. Gamma rays are produced by this magnetic field. Since the Big Bang, this gamma ray flare has been one of the most energetic flares in the cosmos. These surges can last anywhere from a fraction of a second to several hours. It would be a chaotic environment for a planetary system to live in such close proximity. In 2017, Scientists discovered a gravitational wave eruption associated with the merging of two neutron stars. This was discovered in a very distant part of the universe, which is roughly 140 million light years away, in an elliptical galaxy in the constellation Hydra. A short, two second gamma ray burst appeared as a result of the merging. 
What will become of these two stars? My cam is a bit of an enigma, but it appears that no one will be able to save the MyCam from its fate. Scientists' understanding of the MyCam indicates that it is an unusual celestial body. Scientists are excitedly anticipating the merging of these stars in the future, as well as the notion of the development of a huge star. When scientists discover strange celestial bodies in the galaxy, we have high hopes that this cosmos will be a spectacular place. It also allows us to consider how large the cosmos is and how many billions or trillions of occurrences are occurring out there that are yet to be discovered. Each discovery creates a difficulty for mankind, but once they're resolved, our society will continue to advance. The more we seek wisdom in the cosmos and endeavor to obtain it, the universe responds by rewarding us with greater wisdom. The pursuit of wisdom, on the other hand, will last until the end of time. We will learn more about MyCam in the near future. Camelopardalis is a celestial body with some fascinating qualities that prevent scientists from putting their research on hold. We never know what magnificent bodies will arise from these milky paths, but we can be certain that they will never cease to astonish us. With that, I'll conclude today's story. To sum up, I believe I should add some facts about the universe. The majority of recognized stars are dissimilar to one another. Astronomers have identified 12 stars based on their characteristics. There are around 12 different types of stars. Due to differences in their properties, they are grouped into 12 different classes. There are 11 of them each of which is symbolized by alphabetical letters. All of the stars visible right now are both brighter and larger than the sun. Because the smaller star consumes less energy, therefore these smaller stars live longer than larger stars. What are your thoughts on the incredible star we introduced in this video? We're already excited to hear what you have to say about this video in the comments section. If you appreciate the video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more exciting videos in the future.